beautiful peaches. I'm back and I have another show and tell for you guys. So this unit, I've actually had her for a while. Um, I purchased her from the local beauty supply store here in town and um, it's by Red Carpet. It's the style RCP 706 and the name is Tina and I have her in the color red black. Now with this company, they never tell you how high, um, you know, or give you a, a specific number on the temperature. It just says that it's heat resistant fiber. So let me show you what she actually looks like on her stock card. This is Tina, RCP 706. And on the back, it gives you the instructions, you know, what to do, what not to do with your unit and how to take care of it. And it does come with that tape, so if you don't want your um, actual edges to lift up, then you could put the tape underneath, which I never use it because it's pointless. So let me show you the package that she came in. So she is in that uh, soft plastic um, packaging. Let me go ahead and take her out. So as you can see, she does come with the usual stuff that they um, they stuff inside, which is that cardboard, the paper, the mesh to keep the hair intact, which I, I always fight to take this off because it gets tangled. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this is the color, ladies. She's a very full density. As far as shedding, a um, couple strands. Um, let me pick that up so you could see how much came out and like I said this is the second time I'm actually taking her out so hopefully you could see I got that many strands out it's not a lot but I still have to show you guys <laughs> and I did say it's a full density she's a very pretty um, plummy type uh, burgundy color um, actually let me see if I can go back so you guys can actually see the actual color it looks on my camera right now it looks more burgundy but it's really it's it's more of a red yeah like that so that's the actual color right there um she did come with hard lace i did cut the lace off as far as um parting space you only get maybe about two inches so this entire perimeter here is um parting um space um the luster on here it's not too shiny um yet it's not um to um you know like a bright shine sheen type it's it's really natural looking um some people tend to add baby powder or dry shampoo just for their um t you know liking so if you want to do that that's fine but i think it's pretty um natural as far as the texture she's between um more of a yakky type texture but uh, just a tin hinge bit of a uh, silk she's very very soft and very very bouncy the cap construction let's get into the cap it's got um, I'm trying to hide this tag because you're not supposed to put the actual name of this company which I'm not gonna say it because yeah it'll be banned from uh, YouTube but you get the one comb in the back you actually do get your adjustable straps and in the front you actually get three combs so you get um, one on each uh, temple, one directly in the middle. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put her on so you guys could um, know if that, you know, she's big head friendly. So give me one second. Let me get my stocking cap on. I'm actually going to brush her out a little bit because she is very curly. So let me just brush some of the curls. Tangling, as far as tangling, um, she will tangle just a little bit only because she is a curly unit and that's to be expected. Like I said, she is synthetic, so. All right, so this is what I'm getting. I did brush the curls, so you guys can um, see what I'm working with here. All right, ladies. So, let me go ahead and put my cap on. And I wanted to do this review before I actually wash my hair because once it's wet, I have to actually sit there and let it drip dry. So, 
get my hair on me. Now, yes, this unit is very red. Um, I tried her on once before. I don't remember what the hairline looks like, but we'll find out today, won't we? Okay, so the cap is on. Let's try her on. Oh, and she does come with baby hair, and there, there are some in the back, actually, so... All right, so she does fit a little bit on the snug side. This is actually weird because um, with red carpet, their units are always like loose on my head. And right now I'm not even adjusting anything and she's really tight. So, and I didn't even cut the lace off properly. So you could still see some of the lace. I'm trying to get it to where my um, my hair is black so I'm trying to hide it so I can show you guys the actual hairline she does fit directly right above and in front of your ear so she does fit ear to ear yeah ladies um, yeah you're probably gonna have to do two stocking caps with this one because she fits really really snug so let me get up close so I could show you guys the hairline. So as you can see, I'm either going to have to maybe color the roots of this a little bit darker. Um, I know they have um, spray hairsprays that um, you can use to camouflage that. But this is where the actual lace stops. Right there and that's the hairline i'm gonna give you a 360 so this is her miss tina on the left side this is miss tina on the right and i'll turn around so you can see the back and keep in mind i am 511. can you guys see that so she is very bouncy, very lightweight. She's not too heavy, even though she looks like it. The hair is very soft, very, very soft. I don't know, I think I might end up cutting this one to maybe about here. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I'm always trying to alter stuff. Let me bring all the hair to the front. <clears throat> So this is her all the way to the front. She is right below, let me adjust this so you can see, right below my breast area. Ladies, she is very, very bouncy. Oh my God, and the curls are amazing. And I think I'm gonna try to curl her up just a little bit more once I cut her. Let me know what you think. Should I cut it or leave it? Let me do the parting space to see what we're working with here. She is actually designed for you to put her in a ponytail. Tell me why I could never put, make a straight part. Okay, you get a parting space from here to right about here before you start seeing the tracks. So that's the middle part. That's the left part. And let me put one on the right side. Yeah. So there it is. So yes, ladies, let me know what you think about Miss Tina. I think Miss Tina is the bomb though. She reminds me of um, Lavender. If you guys watch my reviews, I have another um, wig review that I did and the unit is called Lavender. I forget what company that one's for, but this is Miss Tina, ladies. And you know what? This is designed to go up in a ponytail. So let me try to put her up in a ponytail and see what the back looks like. 
hang on I know the sides are gonna lift up but at least you'll get an idea because it's supposed to have the baby hairs in the back so let's see I'm probably gonna have to um, do put my hair up and use one of those mirrors where you could see the actual back part of it and just pull some of the hair down on the sides if you don't want to leave the hair all the way down you could just create something like this <clears throat> alright let's see how the back looks I don't know ladies okay let me turn around so you could see that I don't know if I did a good job okay <laughs> but yeah that's what the back looks like I can't peel all the baby hairs, but you get an idea. So yes, ladies, let me know what you think about Miss um, Tina here, RCP 706. And she is, like I said, from the red carpet line. Um, hit me up down below, leave a comment, leave any suggestions that you have. You know, I try to get back to everybody. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Don't forget to thumbs up. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support. Please take care of each other, love each other, and stay blessed, stay fabulous, stay beautiful. Until my next review, I will go try to figure out what I'm going to do with this, or I will wait for you guys to comment on it, all right? I love you guys. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. Mwah. Bye.